Hi everybody, we're back at the RV shop today for the first time in more than six months and uh, hopefully some stuff gets done this time. Uh, the RV shop is supposedly closing down in December so we still have two months worth of work to do to make it uh, running again and not overheating. Uh, I found a spot in downtown LA to park it so that's uh, some news. We're gonna be able to do more work on it when it's there but it actually has to make it there first. So today we've got a mobile mechanic that has been uh, uh, advised by the shop who's coming and uh, we're gonna see how much he charges to change the radiator, water pump and flush the entire system. Hopefully that's what we need and we don't have a head gasket blown. Uh, on the other side we'll talk with Jeff, a guy who has his own uh, contractor uh, roofing company for RVs and he's gonna tell us exactly what to do so that the roof is not leaking anymore and they're gonna do it in the next two weeks. So stay tuned and let's see what it looks like. Here it is. They changed this piece. Asked Jerry why and he told me that the one that they put before just fell apart and uh, thanks to the rain just came down. So that, that says uh, a lot on the quality of wood that they provided me. Shit. So all of this is crappy wood and needs to be replaced with um, a better wood, like marine grade wood. So this needs to be done. It's not a priority, but uh, down the road when this thing is actually running and in good shape, uh, should have some uh, good quality material on it. Oh, nice, more broken stuff. Hmm. All right, so more broken parts. Just stuff just keeps getting broken on this thing. Let's take a tour of the outside. Unless what you guys thought first, uh, the Rust-Oleum hold up pretty good. Held up pretty good. Um, yeah, this is, this is as dark as I did it a few months ago. Uh, that got to be a little bit lighter, but just because uh, there's dust on it. Tires are still inflated. No, seriously, the color looks great. The color is still really good. Just needs a good cleaning. Oh, say hi to the master track. Still there. Yeah. I mean, I was afraid of uh, finding the RV in a much worse condition, but it's, it's still uh, pretty amazing. Let's take a good look at it. Hmm, sexy. I don't know what you guys think, but I actually like the way the bars are rusty. I don't think I want to paint them green again. I kind of like the rugged look it has now. Tell me what you think in the comments. We got our uh, bonnet here, or what serves as a bonnet. And this belongs to the accordion. Well, it's like two of them were supposed to be on each side of the RV in the accordion, but we only have one. We only had one since we had the RV. All right, it's like a sneak peek inside. Let's see what went down. Hello, anybody here? Shit, <laughs> just took the door in my arm. Sorry. Yeah. This door is not holding at all. Mm. All right, good news. No smell, no bad smell of piss or anything along this way. Um, it's hot as hell in there. But, well, yeah, it still looks the same as I left it. Except for the cats destroying more and more this, uh, this poor bench. 
for some reason they just used that as a cat tree. Probably a cat bed as well. You can see all the cat fur. Oh no. Oh no. My bed is deflated and serve as a cat haven as well. Gross, gross, gross. Nothing new here. Those are the lights that go on top of the RV. Cabinets missing. Some daylight coming in because we do have still a huge piece of the accordion ripped. So the whole accordion has to be redone at some point because it has come all brittle and shit. This is not holding that well. It's a trim piece. On the side, this uh, mold here has to be taken care of. More disgusting stuff by the Jurassic Park RV. Yep. Well, this wood is delaminating anyway, so it needs to go. The most water damage we got in the back trailer came from that sky dome. You can see uh, all the paint is gone because of the water damage. The water came through this area. Uh, yeah, this ended up falling, it was still in place when we bought it, but uh, as the mechanic shop, RV shop didn't do its job correctly, uh, water just kept going in. This is our beloved arcade. Yeah, for some of you that didn't, uh, didn't see the updates, we have a Lost Wall Arcade cabinet now in the Lost Wall RV. So it's, uh, it's a really cool place to hang out in. This one uh, doesn't have as much damage as the other one. This is barely holding, but yeah, we're gonna repair it. Yeah, the back trailer is really not that bad actually. This is where Jeff Goldblum is calling the boat. Mar del Plata, Mar del Plata. Look at that nice little feature actually slides out just a little bit. Can we see what's inside? Hey camera, camera, yes. Thank you camera. Yeah, so this is a, this is actually nicely built. I mean, little sliding plate. Someone had fun in there. Because all of this was not like that when I left it, like someone just took a random cable out. It's weird. Actually, it allows me to show you that they, yeah, they run all the cables for the computers, screens, and uh, radio, and CB, and everything. fun part. You see those holes? They're not meant to be. That's uh, actually rats that dug up a hole to come and poop in this completely enclosed cabinet. Gotta love rats. Thanks rats for the hole that was not supposed to be. You do an amazing job. So yeah, that cabinet was completely closed and uh, they dug up their way in there. Like, oh, a new toilet. Nice. I'm just going to put that back in. All right. Don't laugh. Try to do stuff one handedly. All right. There's going to be like one big long cut. So we can find a 
and stuff at the same time as I do. Um, these cabinet the rats didn't go into. So this one still is nice. Still is nice. Still struggling with my English. God damn it. This one. Oh well. There's a hole too. And they took a shit. are designed to be for our speakers. Someone opened all the cabinets for some reason. I'm trying to see if there's anything of value in the RV. Spoiler alert, there is none. Except for this. Memories of uh, past time. And this is our trash can. Trash bean. With all the trash we've had since we bought this thing. Alright, let's wait for the mechanic and uh, see what he has to say. Stay tuned. Alright, Yeah, I'll be right there. How's the view? some pressure here. Exactly. Alright, so... So your vulnerable areas are going to be here, where you have the penetrations, and where this overlaps, so water can get here, here, or here. Yeah, because this, this seal is broken. I mean, uh, yeah. every time the, the RV is flexing, it's, it's just, yeah. yeah. And this is not going to last 10 years. No, it's not. So, um, we can, I mean, it'll last if it was, if we put something over it, that's fine. It can last, but if it's by itself like this, it's not going to. So, you have that, you have the screws that are here. Yeah. And then obviously, all these little patches that they put on here are covering little screw holes. Yes. Um, that's, uh, that's what happened. I mean, not that it was done better before, because, uh, I mean, that's just done for the movie. Anyway. Yeah, the movie company just put the, drilled the holes and didn't care about it. Yeah, and about this part, they removed, uh, they removed a bunch of wood from it that was rotten. I don't think they put it back, uh, or not the same way it was before. No, and this... Because it seems to be very weak now. This is for the antenna. But they broke, they broke it when they put the top on. Yes, so it's broken. So there's not really a good way. This is broke here. And then this, um, this in here shouldn't be a part. I mean, there should be, um, the satellite should be here and this, and the base should basically be one piece. Yeah. So um, to me, it'd be better. You're never going to use the satellite. It's just a prop, right? No, it's just to make it look like it was in the movie. So I would almost say, um, take one of the used satellites we can find around the shop and just pop it on there. No, oh, I have it. Oh, you it's, have it. It's inside, yeah. I think the one that you have may be broken, though. Uh, I mean, this and this. The thing is, uh, yeah, it was not broken, but when they put the top on, it just destroyed uh, that, that bit here. Yeah, the plastic right. part that just screws inside right. is broken on the other one. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay. There's always a way. Possible that that... If we can get this threaded out. Yeah, of here. exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just to put another one in. Okay. Um, so this can be sealed here. So the way that the system we do works, though, 
is um, we embed a fabric within the coating. Mm -hmm. The fabric would be used within the coating around here, around you know the areas where the water can get in. Okay. Um, to reinforce it, so that as the RV twists and flexes, it it, it's going moves. to hold everything together. Where coating by itself is not going to do that. Yeah. So. Um, it's why I think it would work for this area back here. I think I would still try to put some screws down though because this here, you step in certain places here. Yeah. See, and this, I, this has to come off before we can, is this sure. has to be sealed. The, this this was, be uh, and I think this was off already and they put it back. <laughs> I remember it being off, yeah. yeah. So that would have to come off, we put the we seal this first, set this back down, and then seal inside of this. Right now, this is an invitation for water to just sit here. Yeah, and uh, slowly okay. find a way down. Mm -hmm. So you seal here. This roof line here in the front, I would take the roof, our roof line, I would want to take it out over here. Now that's going to obviously compromise this area here, but it's going to seal it. Um, the you're only seeing, other way is going to be to constantly maintenance this, this sealant. How is it done in the other RVs? So on uh, typical, like that one there, it's done the same way as this. And that's not that's not a good option? Well, this one is painted over. Um, yeah. Typically, see that one there? It yes. Putty tape underneath and then lap sealant on each screw. And that's what keeps the water out, but that has to be constantly maintenanced. Okay. Every six months that has to be redone. Six months? Yeah. That's why it's a really ineffective way to seal the roof. All right. Um, so you would like it to go like up until here? We can, we don't have to go far. Yeah. But the fabric, Just go over the lap. We need to overlap yep. this and then the coating to here. So, um, you know, I'm trying to not get into doing full roof system on this thing because it's going to be a lot of time, money, material, you know. So, um, this here, it's just, I mean, there should have been some sort of a boot that they put here, but these can go into the boot and then the boot can mount to the roof, mm -hmm. but as it is, the cables go directly in and it's just a hole. Yeah. That's not a good idea there. Yeah, well, that was an afterthought, uh, I think, because you can see that all the cables from this, uh, mm -hmm. these lights were actually going there. And that, that was going to the 110 power system. Oh, I see. But then at some point, they probably were like, hey, if we dry that, we want to actually turn on the lights. So they just went right, to the yeah. battery directly. Yeah. And this was something they did originally, right? Well, that they did after the filming. Okay. Because you can see in the movie, there's no cables going down. Oh, okay. This okay. One. So they did this after so that they could show. Yeah. The yeah, yeah the because Fleetwood toured this thing around the country for like one year, one year and a oh, half. Oh, okay. They actually drove it. That's, wow. That's the only thing that actually tells us that it can be driven. Right. Because <laughs> it has like 22,000 miles, so it drove. Wow, know. they did They did a big long tour. Yeah. So as far as, this is the really the, I mean, really, there's a lot of complicated areas on this, but this this is an area that's particularly complicated up here. Um, I, the typical, just like before. Yeah, all of these can be undone. I'm trying to see where it's actually mounted. It's not actually attached at all. Nah. It's only attached here. Yeah. I can dismantle it. So I would say dismantle it, and up here you probably would want to find a way, a place where you can tie strap this up here and mount it to the roof, um, and then it can be sealed over in those areas. <laughs> because otherwise it's just going to fly off. Yeah, I don't know how it didn't fly in the first place. I mean, because <laughs> we drove it with these things on. Right. And there was like much more of it. Uh, yeah, there's lucky. two of them getting here. Maybe there's, it was just the weight of everything. It looks like it was attached here. Yeah, those ones had like uh, you, you, you something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but those ones, nope. Okay, so, I mean, this is all, but you see how this says, I don't think this probably was original rusted. It was probably like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, so, the rust came after. Um, 
you know, I don't know how much of this you want to try to preserve. Well, it's as much as possible. <laughs> Um, so the, 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 one of the difficulties about this particular roof is all the detail that's up here. So it's just an incredible amount of time. Um, it's almost like this needs to come off first. Yeah. You do the roof and then these things are set down afterward and then sealed themselves. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, basically the, the roofing just consider it as like normal and uh, I will take care of putting everything back after. That's, uh, again, we, we didn't put back everything on. <laughs> we put like the least amount of right. things. Um, yeah, you, you have like those little vents, fake vents that right. come it's after. Made, it's made to look like there's actually a ventilation. Yeah, you can see it was put on before they painted the thing because right. it's uh, still white underneath. I'm sure it was perfectly fine for the movie. Yep. But to last a 20 something years, it wasn't really meant for that. So, so what's your idea? Do you think that this, uh, this cover thing is good or do you want to just recut everything? This can be, well, so this is fine for a while. The problem is, is so the, the weakness of every roof is, is the seams. Yeah. And this, has a lot of seams. So yeah, the more seams you have, the more problems you get. Right. So the the only way to really, I mean, I could do this roof to where it's not going to leak for 10 or 15 years, but it's just a lot of time and a yeah. lot of um, expense. I so know Jerry's going to, at some point, say, no, we don't want to do go that far. <laughs> but I don't know what your arrangement is with him. So I don't know how much you can hold your feet to the fire. Um, obviously, I don't want to. Well, between you and I, I mean, I uh, so far in this thing, when I brought it three years ago, uh, we had like a whole um, estimate done for like 20 grand. Right. But it was not just the roof, it was like the roof, putting a plumbing system, like mm -hmm. putting air con in it. Like it was like a full blown thing. Uh, and then slowly realizing that nothing was done, I was like, okay, just this one, don't do it, this one, don't do it, this one. And I just all came down to the roof. And so far, I paid nine grand. So wow. I don't think that this is a nine grand worth of right. work. See, so. I don't think so either. So that's where we are. So, um, so they added, they basically did this here. Yeah. So what happened is, uh, instead of these things, it was like um, two piece of um, fiberglass, like mm -hmm. thin fiberglass roof. Um, not very strong. You could not really stand on it. And underneath, it was like foam. Right. And so what they did is they removed all the fiberglass and destroyed the foam and put some beams so that you could actually stand on it. And okay. then instead of that really thin fiberglass that was almost level with this, uh -huh. uh, they put this thick so piece this of plywood. Supports and plywood covered by a rubber membrane. That's what this is. Yeah, this is just plywood underneath. Uh, it's a piece of plywood that they screwed down to the metal chassis that's underneath. Yeah. And uh, got that's 45s it. Forty-fives in the metal. And yeah. Well, well, I mean, that, that doesn't make point, it worse, but... Uh, no, it doesn't. It's fine. It's fine, but it doesn't seal the roof. So. No. And then the back piece here, they, they did this basically on the entire surface? Uh, no, the back part. So the reason for that is that this part had like cutouts so that they could put the cameras inside oh, or whatever. They never used it in the movie because you never see a camera inside of right. this part, but probably before filming, they didn't know exactly what they were doing. So sure. they just cut holes in there uh, that they could open and close. So that's why we put those big pieces of plywood to close those holes. Right. In the back, there was no cutouts except for the sky roofs. So uh, it's like a normal roof and they just basically removed the old, uh, the old rubber and put a new one. This one never had rubber to begin okay. with. And, and do you know if this, if this is leaking here? Well, this one, yeah. Uh, well, we're not going to jump today. I we don't feel... <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, so the sky roofs uh, were leaking, so they did this. Uh, they did this like stuff here. Oh, that's. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> but that's very not well, doing anything at all. It's very well glued, huh? Yeah? Uh, there you go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's 
terrible. So I think that probably held for a while, but I also think that it's leaking from inside. It, this seal here. Yeah. Yeah, and there's not a lot you can do about that. I'll just do a new seal. I mean, That's basically it. You could do a seam up over this. You know, I could do my material up over to here. Mm -hmm. Close off some of the stuff. Oh, I see what you mean. That could keep it sealed. Um, this would probably um, have to be removed, though. Yeah, it was removed. It was off when you did it. What I think it would do is, because th this is just screwed on the side, remove this piece and do your cutting up until like right beneath it, and then I'll put it back and put a new seal on it. And that should do it. Put together, is this, is this a separate piece than this? Uh, yes, we, uh, you can see it better than the other one actually. Oh, oh yeah. See how it is? I don't know exactly how it's holding, but... So the skylight fits in and this fits over the top of the edge. Seems like that's what it is, yes. I don't know how far this guy goes underneath, but... And then here you <coughs> just have open holes. Uh, nope. No, nope, because this is just... Uh, oh, this is over one piece of rubber. Uh, so these are just rubber. sitting over the rubber? Yeah. Okay. Or something you just want to get rid of, maybe? What do you mean? Would you like to just cut these off? Uh, no, because they're supposed to power uh, lights that go here. Oh, after. I see. Okay, so we have to leave those. Except for the sky, uh, sky roofs, I don't think that uh, this one is leaking for now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I can see that the. Oh, wait. Silicone sealant here. You want to use another kind of a sealant. It's like this one here. It's just a lap sealant, so it's self-leveling. Mm -hmm. um, silicone it does this. The other one will last a little longer. So for these, because it's going to be something that has to go on after or yep. be masked, maybe um, we could mask around this maybe, and it's probably better to pull it off stick it on after. Um, what I would do is put putty tape around the bottom, stick this on, and then use that self-leveling lap sealant over the top of so all of the Which fasteners. one is the self-leveling? You see uh, the front of the vent there? Oh, yeah. It's real flat. Yeah. And around the uh, antenna over there. Uh-huh. Okay. So this will last for how long approximately? That'll, well? that'll last, I mean, six to 18 months probably, but you, once in a while, it's a maintenance thing you have to do with RV roofs anyways. They say every 6 to 12 months, just check it. And when it needs it, you just reapply. So normal RVs has to go through roof maintenance every yes. every year? Basically? I didn't know that. Yeah. Not, <laughs> Even not the many new people ones? do know that. Yeah, they, they'll sell you a new one. They never tell you that. But if you don't do it, then your, your warranty on the roof is void. That's nice. So, yeah. Um, so... Um, But it's just a normal part of maintenance. If you, you know, if you want to keep it up and if you want to retain the original look of this, that's probably the right way to do it. Gotcha. Um, these things here, I mean, this is okay. It's, it's holding. But for how long? <laughs> right. And that's but as you say, every so every basically but this once is just a year. A lot. This is more. So, a typical RV roof, you've got to do this on the front these appliances here and you're done yeah but here you have every edge all the way around every screw you know here holes all these parts here it's it's a lot more yeah, it's a specialty thing it's a lot more to deal with yeah. so I, I could see that being a really high maintenance thing for this particular roof so what plus I would, the fact that the roof is flat which doesn't help get the water, water out right so if we masked to here 
you know, you look at the screw is sideways, you know, but if you're nasty here, you can basically coat the entire roof on the top and take care of it all. Okay. Um, if we embed the fabric as well um, that we use over these seams, then, you know, those seams will hold for a really long time. Okay. And uh, could we still put that on top of your cutting after? Um, you can, it's just that, so there's going to have to be, I guess, even with our product, because of what this is, there's going to have to be a minimal amount of maintenance that you're going to still have to do. Yeah, sure. So whatever parts you want to apply over the top of ours, then you're going to have to um, use fasteners and then use this lap sealant okay. over those. Um, it's easy to get, it's not real expensive, and it's just time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the main part of the roof, if we uh, apply your cutting, uh, is it maintenance free or does it still need maintenance free for how long? So ours is, uh, if we do the real, the full system with fabric embedded and everything, the, the, the uh, least expensive system I have is still 10 years maintenance free. And that's, uh, that's more than enough. Yeah. Considering this thing is 20 years old and was never leak free. So. Right, <laughs> from day one. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, I, I guess the, the way that I would proceed, if that's what you wanted to do, would, we would need to remove all of these parts here Yeah. that are going to be add-ons. Um, and if you want this look with this separate piece up here, we'll have to take that off, add that back in later. Um, and these grills take those off. The skylights, I think we can mask off. Um, this cage has to come off. Yeah. Um, and then the roof system, we just wanted to keep it up on the top of the roof. Um, and then, I guess you guys could come in later, add the, the props back on the roof. Um, and then I can show you the I product. mean, the props are pretty lightweight, right. except for the grill. But the rest, I would probably not put screws, but like try to put like a really hard um, uh, glue yeah. to just basically glue it so we don't have to go through your your system. Right. Just this will definitely need something. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's heavy, but I don't want it to fly oh, off the highway and I just... It would, it would kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. But if you do get on the freeway, I mean, you're take, you are taking a chance with adhesive only on the other. With the what, you say? If you <laughs> use adhesive only. You're taking a bit of a chance with um, even the other props. Yeah. They are. I mean, yeah, if you saw how they were put together in the first place and they held it. <laughs> well, maybe we're, you're right. We're not going to drive it, I mean, very much okay. anyway, so. It's more of a display piece. Okay. So you think we should cut everything and not keep the original roof uh, as it is? I mean, I, you know, I understand the desire to keep it. I just, um, you know, you're, you have uh, the desire to keep it original, but you also have the practical. Um, yeah. Because as of now, I think the only bits that are really leaking are somewhat around the edge of this added thing and in the mm -hmm. front, where, where you could see that it's cracking when we yeah. put some weight on it. Um, so, I mean, if that, if, if it's something like that and you just wanted to make sure those are done, I mean, there's, it's possible to just mask off the areas that you want. I mean, I could mask off an area like this yeah. and just spray and fabric those areas. So the fabric is going like all over the place you're covering usually? Um, if you have... If you need to take it, uh, go. If, if you have a vulnerable area, like a seam, you want to put the fabric in it because the, the seam can go like this. Oh, that's what... Oh, okay. Go break. Yeah, the fabric is preventing the, the material from yeah, the cutting. Okay. Yeah. You get this. That's right. Yeah, it really depends on on what your goal is at the end. If you want to if you want to retain that original look of the roof, then um, we're going to have to find a way to seal it without coating the entire yeah. thing. Well, we already compromised some of the originality right. uh, with those bits of uh, of plywood oh, sitting sure. too high. Yeah. But uh, and with the tape but must, yeah, but that can be undone. I mean, that's, uh, that's not, uh, it's, it's awful, but it's not definitive. So we just had a talk with uh, Jeff, who is doing the roofs. So Jeff is saying that basically 
everything that Jerry and the guys did is bullshit and that now we have to replace everything with a cutting system. So we can leave the shitty um, rubber roof that they put on and just put the cutting itself above it. But we need to remove all the props that we painstakingly put back on the roof. So the grill has to go, all the fake vents has to go, have to go. We have a lot of things to do and uh, less than two weeks now to do it. Amazing, but at least uh, stuff should get done and when they're done with it, the RV should be sealed and the roof should not be leaking anymore. So uh, stay tuned again.